paths, right? So what do we mean by paths on Zapier? The automations are not always going to be super simple, wherein you just have to connect one app to the other. You select the trigger and the event and it's done, right? Sometimes there might be some complicated automations that you want to take, right? For example, uh, let's say I receive an email with an attachment and uh, I want this attachment to be saved on my drive, right? But I want this, I want only attachments from a particular email that I received, right? Let's say if Shay sends me an email, I want to save all the attachments from email that I received from Shay on my drive, right? That's going to be part one. The second one is if I receive an email from, let's say another one of my colleagues, I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, generate a Slack message for me. And over here, I put a word which says, if the subject is urgent, shoot a message on my Slack right then and there. Right. So you're going to see how I've created this one. Right. So what you've done is again, you go here, you connect your Gmail and your trigger is going to be new attached. Right. You click on continue. You connect your account. You have to go to the inbox as soon as something hits your inbox and then you click on. Right. Again, you can find a new record since I've already done this. You can continue with the selected record. Now, how do you get the path of it? A very simple step. Do you see this path? I just have to click on this and it's going to, you know, create two paths. So since I've already created it, here's the, uh, okay, so path. Let's go to path A, right? Let's click on this. Now, when you have paths, you set certain routes, right? Uh, I've selected only continue if, and I've also added an and option, right? So the first option is I have to map this with attachment, right? Once I map it with the attachment, I have to click on exist. So what this does is it's only going to take an email which has an attachment and it satisfies the condition that means exist, right? And the mandatory is the from part of the email, I mean the sender should exactly match Shay. I've added his email over here, right? And you continue. Now, if these conditions are met, I wanted to go to upload the file on my Google Drive, right? Simple. You connect your Google Drive over here. You click on upload file, go to the next one. And here's the action, right? So what I've done is I have uh, the Zapier webinar folder, the same one that you connected previously. I have the file attachment on Gmail. Uh, again, you're going to have to search for attachment. It can be super easy if you write here. Attachment is going to pop up right on the first option, right? After this, we are going to go on the file name. So again, uh, you have uh, all the option to name the files. Let's say if you want to, uh, you know, put a default thing over here, you can write Shay underscore this, right? So every time a file is uh, uploaded on your Google Drive, it's going to start with Shay. That's the uh, base underscore attachment file name, then the date it was sent to you and the person who sent it to you, right? So in this case, I want my file to be named like this, right? And then you continue and you read this, right? Now this is going to create a file on my, a file was sent to Google Drive about three seconds ago. So the same file, right? If you see here, this one.